My name is Eric Weimer. I live in Golden, Colorado, and uh, I like uh, different activities. Um, I, I like to ski and uh, and mountain bike. I have a tandem mountain bike uh, that I that I'm on the back of, of course. And uh, I like to climb, to rock climb and ice climb. I've climbed the uh, seven summits, the tallest peak in every continent. And uh, recently, I've been getting into kayaking, which is uh, definitely trumps all those things. Oh, and I'm blind. Um, no, I had a rare eye disease called retinoschisis, juvenile retinoschisis. It's a, uh, a disease that attacks your retinas and uh, kind of in a way unravels them so that um, there was um, lots of hemorrhaging for like maybe four years, five years, and I was blind by the time I was a freshman in high school. So I've been blind for uh, like 25 years. I've done a lot of sports, you know, uh, and I'd never done whitewater kayaking. I knew it was a Colorado sport. Uh, you know, everybody's got to have a uh, bunch of pairs of skis and a couple mountain bikes and uh, a couple kayaks. So I thought it was the Colorado thing to do. I met Eric 12 years ago in Antarctica, of all places. And uh, he was doing his seven summits, and I was working on a film project. I'm a filmmaker. And uh, we ran into each other, and uh, one thing led to another. Uh, he started bringing me along as a guide on various climbing trips. And um, the kayaking thing began well, only five years ago. Uh, and he asked me how to teach him how to roll. That was going to be it. And then uh, one thing led to another there. And he decided he wanted to uh, whitewater kayak, did a bunch of rivers, and now he wants to do the Grand Canyon. Now, I'd like to kayak the Grand Canyon at some point. Uh, I think I'd be ready. I'll be ready in a year or two. Um, it's, a, it's a big river, and it has obviously big rapids, big waves, but I'm hoping, counting on the idea that, you know, a lot of those big holes, those big waves, you can pick, you know, lines through them that would be a little bit easier on a kayak with, with some good communication and if things go well. In a sport like this, it takes it takes a great foundation of building the skills and and the the ongoing just kind of understanding how the nervous system wants to react and, and work with the river and all the all the uh, things that most people fear in it. Again, Eric, being blind, you know, he he obviously needs certain information that the rest of us get you know, with our eyes. And so it's fun to try to figure out what that exactly that information is, not too much, not too little. As a blind person, I, I've never experienced anything like kayaking. I mean, it's, it's, you're reacting so quickly and it takes so much balance and, and reaction and, uh, and, and Rob's, you know, um, yelling a lot of directions or Chris is yelling a lot of directions you know and I'm uh, trying to follow those precisely so it's really dynamic and then you're you know reacting to the water you know the eddy lines that are moving you in all sorts of different ways and it's just like total high energy excitement it's definitely like the most intense thing I ever have done I don't know if kayaking is for everyone I mean you know people have People often say, like, even when I climb or something, like, hey, if a blind guy can do it, like, you know, anyone can do it. <laughs> and uh, it's pretty intense. You know, it just puts a huge smile on your face. I mean, I, I get why people love kayaking. It's really, it's really fun. I mean, it's scary, but it's super fun as well.